For the RAF Tornado crews at Kandahar, a big part of the job is waiting, in this case being on standby, ready to scramble at a moment's notice. But as the wait and the darts go on for this crew, others are returning from a mission high in the skies of Afghanistan. Twelve bomber squadrons flying can broadly be split into two major areas, the standby role and working on pre-planned missions, often in support of units on the ground. Wing Commander Simon Strasdin has been flying today. Hi there, how are you doing? The beauty about being a uh, fast aircraft uh, around theatre is that we can cover uh, pretty much the entirety of the, uh, the theatre uh, in our uh, sortie duration. So this morning we've been working up in Helmand, working with uh, two American call signs, providing overwatch for uh, two convoys that were uh, routing uh, through Sangin down to the south. Next for the plane, a thorough service. Essential to keep these ageing yet versatile airframes flying. First we'll start with the oils. Uh, we'll just refill engine and gearbox oils. Uh, after that, we'll move on to uh, either the refuel or the uh, aircraft walk around. And basically, that's just checking for any damage. You want to uh, spot it um, as soon as possible um, because then they've got more time to complete the task and get it back into the air. This GR4's job for the day is done. But further down the pan, the GCAS aircraft is ready. This is the quick scramble plane, its crew still waiting for the call to launch. Being on GCAS standby means that this tornado is ready to go. A lot of the pre-flight checks have been done so that when the call to scramble comes, the pilot and captain who sits in the front and the WISO, the weapons systems officer who sits in the back, can come out here, get in and get airborne very quickly indeed. No scramble today though, which allows Flight Lieutenant Ollie Harbridge the time to talk me through the job role. If there's any serious situation out in the AO, if there's troops in contact or a priority tasking comes up and they need extra assets in the air, then they can scramble us, uh, we'll be airborne and we'll be straight on task um, and air-to-air -air refueling assets will be allocated to us so we can get airborne, refuel and get very quickly to the area that we're needed and provide the support that the troops on the ground require. We're able to employ from the, the gun, which is a 27mm Mauser cannon, all the way up to a 500 pound uh, weapon. But very often, just the fact that we're there providing overwatch is enough to deter any uh, activity. The Tornado was first introduced to the RAF in 1979, serving with distinction in both Iraq wars, Kosovo, and since 2009 here in Afghanistan. Although its numbers will decline in transition to the Typhoon and later on the Lightning II, for now the Tornado and its RAF crews are still proving to be a valuable asset. Tim Cooper, Forces News, Kandahar.